Alright guys, today we're here with What Remains of Edith Finch. Yeah, I mean, we're on a boat right now, so I have no idea what this game is about. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. Okay, that is a weird looking house. I lived or tower. I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Not Jesus. Urgent. Open immediately. This place I must be abandoned. It's my brother Lewis's funeral. His funeral? Damn, this game looks amazing. Funeral. My mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. I have Maybe she thought I'd know. No idea. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. The, uh, let's take the dirt path. Why not? The natural path or whatever. A little froggy. Where is he at? The truth is... Even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Well, why can't your family answer it? Are, are they literally all gone? The house have always been uncomfortably silent, as if they're about to say something but never do. I heard frogs a minute ago. Where did they go? The house that is a, exactly like I remembered it. That is an amazing looking house. It. It's honestly badass. I'd like a house like that. That'd be cool. Look at this. Beautiful. I mean, it's a little rundown, but, As you know, child, fix it up a little bit. The house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Crawling in through the doggy door? <laughs> nice. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. The power had been turned off the night we left. I felt like I was home. Man, honestly, th this house is really nice on the inside for you not being here in forever. The table forever. was still a wreck from the night we left. Why'd you all it leave? like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. I mean, honestly, this house doesn't look bad for it being, you know, not in use for years, I guess, no? Instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Yeah. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. So the grandpa built this house. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. It's actually a very cozy house, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a very nice looking house. They have a lot of books. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house, after it sank. It sank? What? A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie Milton. retaliated and drilled peepholes. <laughs> peepholes? <laughs> Who's Edie? I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. This is I think my great. mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Huh. Louis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Is this the key? Yes, sir. It's all for a book. Turns out my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now all that for a little handle. Mom had been afraid of. What was your mom afraid of? From the paintings on the wall, <laughs> it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Little cat. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Molly. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly's durable had a tiny bedroom with its own even <laughs> Whoa, tiny that's actually, durable cage. That's actually dope. Is this a journal? December 13th, 1947. Dear diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. What? I woke up and I was starving. So I looked around for something to eat. Don't eat the gerbil. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. What the hell? <laughs> I thought she was about to eat the poop. I kept eating and eating. Oh no, don't eat the toothpaste. No. What the hell? What are you doing, child? Oh no. I thought about eating my fish. Yeah, no. Don't do that. Oh no, don't eat that either. I ate a lot of things that night. 
Ugh. Just straight up eating mistletoe? Then I heard chirping outside my window. Huh. It Little birdie. Barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. Oh no, kid. Do not go out the window. What? I was a cat. What the hell? I'm a cat. I'm coming to get you. But the bird was really scared. Yo! I'm coming to get you, bird. Come here, bird. I jumped and I almost got her. Angry kitty noises. <laughs> Come here, bird. Tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Mama bird. Ah. Oh no. And suddenly, I was an owl. An owl? First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Rabbits. Rabbits? Come here, little bird. Oh, you little bastard. What's up? I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine. Oh my god, he's eating it whole. Eating it whole? Holy up, shit. And I didn't chew one bit. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna eat that's bigger? Dude, you just ate a whole rabbit. What are you talking about? Oh my god. A mama rabbit. A mama rabbit. You. Oh my god. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. What the f? Yo! Bro, what is going on? Look at my boy. Come on, you can do it, Sharky. Go, Shark! Holy shit, I'm fucking zooming now. Holy, what the? the and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Come here, seal. Oh no, not the tail. I'm sorry, Mr. Buddy. Dude, this child is a psychopath. Come here, buddy. What? When I opened my eyes, everything changed. What the fuck am I? Am I an octopus? I'm like cracking from fucking Pirates of the Caribbean right now. I was big, but I moved real quiet. Oh no, he ate a she ate a person. Yo, this child's a psychopath. What are you doing? I'm a fucking kraken, dude. I'm a baby kraken. I to stop, but also I did. All right, had a little misfire, but we're we're back, gamers. We're back. Come here, buddy. Oh shit! I was still hungry. Something I had to have, so I swam towards it. Swam towards it. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. This is a toilet. Oh my god, it is a toilet. Wait, is this my room? I got closer and closer. Oh my god, it's my room. I'm gonna eat myself. Fuck yeah, gamers. All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be. the fuck is going on, brother? Molly, you're one weird-ass kid. You know that? I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Yes, okay. I that... can't describe it, but oh. I felt like some part of Molly was still here. 
Her personality, I'll give you that. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly's gerbil oh, yeah. had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Am I going out the window? Oh no. Don't do this. Don't do this to yourself. Don't die. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Hmm. He would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. That's kind of sad. So, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son. The family son, curse. Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. What the hell? What curse? But 40 foot waves off the coast of oh, Washington. Oh, that is send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. That is Odin's definitely a curse. Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Odin, okay. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Yeah, it does. So we got Odin, Molly, and then we got me, Edith. So he used to like playing Call of Edith Duty and shit. Well, Sven was killed by a dragon. She could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. Ah. She could have, but she didn't. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Oh my god. Jesus, this bathroom? This is this is a horror movie right here. Why would you want carpet in your bathroom? What is wrong with you? It is the same key. Cool. Open There's her up. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Well, that's cool. Oh, we got a peeping Tom back here, huh? Is this a dark room? Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it yeah, down. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. That, yeah, this is a dark room for photographs. Milton, her brother. Fort Calvin. Or, yeah, Calvin. What a name, Calvin. Fort Sam. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. He probably I guess died. My grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he died. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. A mushroom? <laughs> At Barbara's funeral, he swore That's one more thing. he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. Hey, that's honestly, I, I mean... always wanted to fly. What? Fly? Oh, no. Is it... Don't tell me this is how he died. I'm gonna fucking die, aren't I? That day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up, then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. The day he made oh, up his mind. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Well, rip my boy Calvin. After the funeral, Edie rubbed off Calvin's half of the room. Damn, it's actually kind of sad. But Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. 
seeing his brother's bed across the fucking room, I bet it would suck. Yeah, nah, that would be, that would be terrible. That is actually super cool, and I want to do that in my own house. This family has so many damn trap doors, it is crazy. I mean, I guess it is the benefit of making your own house. Do whatever the hell you want. These were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Growing up, Barbara Finch. I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Was that Bigfoot? Dreadful stories. With all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. So, um, Barbara got fucking murdered, and so did her boyfriend. Nice. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was, maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Or, no? Okay. I don't know. I guess now I know why Mom didn't like me playing with the music box. That is fair. Good old Barbara. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Child star that got that one hit wonder. There we go. Got the key, baby. Whoever wrote that story was probably in the family because that shit is pretty accurate. Somehow they knew that key was part of the fucking music box. Stormy outside and everything. Sven. Mom said the basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Okay. I saw Edie sense. sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. What the f- Turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Well, that survival bunker down here. What the hell is this? Oh my god, it's dark. I remember asking Mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Uh, survival bunker. If there's okay. a pattern in all these stories... I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Yeah. That's fair. Good old Walter. He lived to... Uh, 50... Goodbye, 53. Everyone. I can't 53. believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. Okay. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. No, why just schedule, living for today? Peaches. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. More peaches, baby. Bro just and chugs down day, those peaches. Everything just stop. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. Poor Walter, man. It's been a week now. The longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave. While I still can. Walter, why did nobody come down here and check on you, bro? Like, you... <laughs> You have family right upstairs. I know it's out there somewhere. No. Oh. I'm guessing it's... Whatever killed Barbara. Oh, that's why and he's Molly. scared. And Molly? What happened to Molly? And Calvin. Oh, he's talking about the fucking curse. Maybe this is all a mistake. 
but I need to stop living the same day, even if it kills me. I felt that. Damn. That's a... Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one more day. I can already imagine the sun Oh no, he got hit by a train, dude. That's so fucked. I'm sorry, Walter. You will be remembered. You will be remembered, my man. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. Nah, I would never end up like but Walter, she baby. told me about an uncle under the house... I can only imagine what else she was hiding. This I is the trash pit. The same mistakes she made, trying to bury something that's still alive. Ooh. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two. Oh. Oh, uh, so I'm guessing the person I'm playing like as is pregnant. And found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Yeah. We believed so much in a family curse. We made it real. Rip Walter. His little trains and everything. The thing that killed him was the trains, and they put trains on his fucking <laughs> his grave. That's kind of fucked. I don't know if I should even be writing this. No, it's it's good to keep stories, especially of your family. I would I would agree. It is it may be hard, but if all this just died with me. Nah, story's a story. Whether you, uh, you should know about your family, whether you like it or not, your story is yours. History you're a part of. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. Talking in the third person, it's kind of weird. Think people in these stories believed them for what that's worth. And when you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness, any of it seems possible. Damn. Rip Calvin. They didn't even touch the damn swing. That means Calvin flew all the way down there. God damn, bro. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long we've just gotten used to it. Probably. Which what is not a good thing. Finishes building a cemetery before starting the house. You know what? You have a point. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but the pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Three of the gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. Oof. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. It's understandable. It was a very, um... She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every day. Yeah, night. damn. It's actually really nice. It's cool how you can actually see it. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. The older I, I don't get, know. the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Yeah, she probably just wanted to get away. She's her probably worried. Was strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. So many deaths. Oh my god, this family is just death after death. Milton. They don't even know when he died. Sanjay. She lost two Lewis. of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Didn't want the same thing for her There's children. So things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part no, her of mom's gone this too. This is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. But looking back on it now, if she told me there was going to be so much climbing, <laughs> I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. I never met Grandpa Sam, but. I think he and my mom had a lot in common. Why do you say that? 
They were both pretty intense. Oh. Makes sense. Good old gun. That's a nice gun, actually, though. Holy shit. I like it. Bear. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Huh. I mean, that's a that's an interesting take on his so-called family curse. I mean, instead of running away, he dealt with it. It's not a bad thing. It's actually a smart thing, to be honest with you. Just a bunch of pictures. <laughs> that typical old grandpa. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. That's a very good picture. I like that picture. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? That's okay. Please just take the damn picture. Hey, language. I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's this. Okay, got it. It's actually a very nice Can picture, I take too. The picture is okay. Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Little birdie, what's up, buddy? Can I take a picture? You're right, Dad. It's starting to clear up. It's still freezing, though. Can I not take a picture of my boy? I want to take a picture of my boy. Oh, there we go. Well, let me get a better one. There we go. It's a nice picture. I should not have drunk all that coffee. Hmm. Hold still while I take a picture of you. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's a keeper. Got him always pissing. <laughs> That's funny. I'm just saying, I'm not always going to be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make dad? Good eyes, Don. Oh, the deer. Uh, that's what he was talking about. An old deer. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of it. Where? Where's my boy? picture though holy shit ah <laughs> I'm proud of you Don always remember that okay I, I'd probably cry too if I Dad, killed an animal I'm not gonna it's lie twitching. I think that's it's totally so normal Don just focus on the camera try not to think about Dad. it oh no no oh no that is terrible Rip, rip Sam. Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Her mom, I guess? I would, I'm just gonna assume that's her mom. Little door. Ooh, that is, that's straight insulation. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. Oh, that's pretty. They both lost a lot. Yeah, I mean, bonding through loss is one thing, but I wouldn't really consider it bonding. It's more of a shared trauma type of thing. Gregory. What's up, my boy? Oh, divorce contract. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Oh, no. Did he drown in the bathtub? Nah. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. my little frog go go 
Go, go, Froggy. Over, it's time to... Hold on, sweetie. Hello? Sam, I Whoa. Tell you I don't want to talk right now. Whoa! <laughs> I wonder what he saw. Get him! Get those little duckies! Hell yeah. Look at these little dudes. Uh, she's talking about like they're having a low. It's a little, uh, it's a whale. Can I put the whale in there? Oh, hell yeah. What's up, buddy? Woo! <laughs> what the hell is this? Yoink! Oh, no. Can I move? Ugh. Yoink! Get up there, buddy. Oh no, my frog. Froggy, what are you doing? My bros. Sorry about that, Gregory. Oh, Sam. I know you did everything you could. Maybe if I hadn't called that night. Damn it. Hold on, I don't want Gregory. Oh no. I wish you could have told us. No. He did. Whee! Well, see you later, Gregory. Woo! Gregory, no! I am the frog now. At least, I, I mean, I guess at least Gregory got to go out and, uh, That's that's so sad, man. Whee! Down the drain. He looked like he was having fun in the end, I guess. Yeah. Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. That's really sad, though. That, that's. That's honestly something. I, if I had a, a kid, I would never leave them alone in the bathtub, ever. For this specific reason. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yet... Gus. Sup, Gus? A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our life. Woo. Taking all the letters around. My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Hmm. So their dad would beat them? I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her. We don't need a stepmom, were the words that I now pronounce you. Husband and wife. Make his pride. Woo. <laughs> Get the kite on them. <laughs> um where we go next. Woo, what is that? No, oh, is it the the totem? Time for photos came, and Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. <laughs> nice. Gus is my type of kid, man. The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent.
little tent. Like I was talking about like humans as like he's the kite, not a human. Oh, what the fuck? Yellow. Okay. Rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid. That nature might destroy the tent our dad was crudely made. Ah! Destroy the t <laughs> What the fuck is this? No. Thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, Make the music louder. I wish that. Oh no, Greg. Or not Greg. Ah, oh, fuck. Who is this one? Gus. Yeah, it's Gus. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't. Until we found you. Damn. Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. See you later, Gus. You lived your best life. And we gotta do more climbing. Okay. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. Oh, is this story going to be about your mom next? At the time, it was as far away as she could get. She spent a summer building houses in Kolkata, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Kolkata. Sanjay. What a name. I wonder if this is like a real story. Cool. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Louis was born a year later. Oh boy, Louis. Is that older brother or younger brother? When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Everyone in your family just the dies. Again. The house had to get Three a little kids. bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. Almost normal. Damn. I guess that's the story of this fucking family's life. Birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Huh. A little castle up here. Can I look in here? After Wilson ah. disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Milton disappeared. They don't even know if Milton's alive either, which is sad. These little books. Oh shit. I stopped. <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. You know, little doorway. And he just disappeared. So he was 11 years old. Damn. I'm sorry, Milton. Mom spent months searching for my brother. <clears throat> And she sealed the doors. I mean, Mom definitely it... blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After oh. he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until Mom got him a job at the cannery. The bong. His room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Dear Mrs. Finch. As Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, oh, I substance believe abuse? Lewis first noticed oh, the monotony man. of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery, but he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... Wander? Wander. Huh. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. <laughs> I'm just casually room. cutting the finish while playing the... I'm like multitasking right now. Bats. And toads. Hmm. 
and things that have not names. So he basically, but he didn't. Oh, that is that is wicked. And he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. Found something more. Oh, so now they're getting more elaborate. Okay. Daydreaming so he's like cannery. daydreaming, like to like. I spoke with his boss, oh, but he like said Lewis huge... had become a model employee, methodical, tireless, focused, like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. That was your first mistake. I even encouraged him. Uh, that was your second mistake. It seemed very promising first. You... Daydreaming is I something, but... Puppy, what's up, buddy? I'm just cutting fish over and over again. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. Trying to play two things at once is um. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. Playing fucking RuneScape. <laughs> Playing RuneScape right now, brother. And songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. I mean, this is like daydreaming on an like like an unhealthy amount right he no now. No longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him. That all the cheering crowd. Even the stones under his feet were all in his imagination. So, so what? He could do whatever he wished. Uh, 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 I mean, it's not so what. It's more like a. He held an election for mayor, and he won. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> they begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. I mean, holy shit, dude. Like, this is like daydreaming on another Conquer level. City, then immediately push on. This is like daydreaming on the extreme, dude. This is like me in fucking high school, New bro. New Louisville. St. Louis. <laughs> St. <Saint> Louis? <laughs> That's funny. He started drifting away from our reality. Ah, see, that's the problem. Drifting away from reality is the problem. Minneapolis. Until one day Minneapolis. he forgot to go home from the cannery. He got, forgot to go Even home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing off. Holy shit, dude. This is so fucked. He is just in another world right now. Oh my god, dude. This is this might be the saddest one so far, dude. This is kinda like fuck. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a handsome queen. Handsome queen. I don't I don't know, I guess. The queen was on her own quest for The radiant rainbows. Radiant rainbows. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, oh, rip. Bet that's an achievement. I'm not gonna lie to you. I like the sound of her. Ah. Oh. A 
electric, electric guitar. A sitar? Oh, it's a sitar, not a guitar. Sitar. I don't know what that is, but yes. Dude, this man is daydreaming on an extreme level. Him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. This is like even then extreme his logic remained sound. You can't even see the cutter anymore, but I know it's there. The world was all in his imagination. But he was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. This is crazy. Man is daydreaming so hard that he like doesn't go home, doesn't eat, probably Someone doesn't drink. Who known success in the real world. I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. Fuck, dude! I wish, man, too. That would be so awesome. My imagination is as real as my body told me. It was hard to argue with him. Yeah, I mean... Oh no, I'm Lewis. Right now. How is he gonna die? Because he died. World we know. Did he just, like, forget to stop eating? Did he just, like, forget to eat? I think it pains me to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. I mean, it probably did, to be honest with you. There I am. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. He's not even doing anything. Like, he's actually not even, like, moving a fish, but he's, like, such... He's, like, stuck in his own mind so much that he thinks he's still, like, cutting the fish and everything. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. This man. This is actually just kind of sad. Like, this man actually, like, straight up, instead of, like, doing what Walter did and just physically separated from reality. Wise Calico insisted on advising. He, uh, he separated mentally. And, like, completely. I mean, this man was. He was out of it. Like, he was not even. He was stuck in his own mind so bad that, I mean, yeah. His queen waited, holding his crown. What the fuck? Is that a guillotine? There was only okay. one thing left to do. There was only one thing left to do. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, no. Did he... Bend down his head. No. Dude, this is a hell of a ter- Dude, this is a terrible way to go. Rest, no. I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. I'm sorry, dude, that was so loose. I wish you could have met him. Why is she talking in the third person? So am I not Edith? Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. He was surprisingly bad at the video games? That's actually kind of funny. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. 
Oh no. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I don't think she just I don't know. I wish we'd stayed. But I understand why we left. Yeah. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. I mean, he was to the point where he couldn't but even... It had to end one way or another. He, he was at the point where he I wasn't even... to tell you about that last night. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma... You know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Oh no. Wow, it is- dark as shit in here. Oh my god. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. It really seems like her mom just wanted to seal away the past. Which, I mean, I understand seeing as where she's coming from. What you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I Damn. think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? History of the Finches by Edith Finch. Or Edie Finch, my bad. Ooh. Gotta open the book. Dear Edith. There's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That the night, night you were born. The tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They oh no. The lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. No, I can imagine. I've yeah. seen that house every day of my life. But she finally gets to see it. But I never thought I'd go back to it. Yeah. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Oh no. I got turned around. Okay, we're just gonna go this way then if she got turned around. I started seeing things. A deer. What's up, buddy? Holy shit. The deer that killed Sam. Was it Sam? Pretty sure it's Sam. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Dude, this family, it's really sad, honestly. Like, this is, this is actually just, like, a really sad story about a family. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. Damn. I never saw great-grandma Edie again. Goodbye, Grandma. Nice knowing you. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After 
after that, we moved around a lot. Oh, she's doing the arm thing in the vehicle, or in the car. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. Oh no, what happened to her mom? I wouldn't but want to talk about it either. Sick a lot. Oh. <coughs> oh, dude. It must happen pretty quickly. <laughs> she got better for a while. <laughs> and then she didn't. Damn. That's so sad. And then I was alone. <sighs> the last finch left alive. I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. Oh, so I'm the daughter of Edith. This makes more sense. Things didn't work out that way. This is Edith telling the story. Okay, this makes more sense. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Edith Finch. Oh, damn. It's me. What a house, though. What a house. It's actually a really cool house. Okay. That's... That's the end. I mean, holy shit. I, I was not expecting that. Are these real people that died? Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll stick around and uh, show if anything else happens. But um, if not, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.